Hi guys, it's Shami from Crafts Names and Things. So today we are actually going to make, um, well, they're kind of ATCs and pocket letter cards um, for pocket letters that I need to send. Um, but I'm going to kind of do it differently this time. I'm going to do just a general background and then I'm going to add stuff on top. But I want to show you the process. Um, I'm going to put it in fast motion. Um, just to kind of show you, I think everything's pretty self-explanatory, but I did want to go over the supplies with you. So this is just regular cardstock that I have. I need to do three sets of um, pocket letters, so um, that's why I have three pieces of paper. It's just standard size, like the size of printer paper, and um, I'm using this size. You guys know I have larger sheets of paper too, but this size because I want to show you a cutting technique, and that's going to be a separate video, um, but you'll be able to see it in this video too, but it won't be explained. It'll be in silent motion. But um, I will have a separate video to show how you can get nine cards from one sheet of cardstock. So over here, which you can't see, I just have tons of stacks from my collage box that I have of discarded papers, Happy Mail, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to collage them onto this sheet. Um, I also am probably going to use some pages um, from these matchbook um, collage um, notebooks that I got um, from my swap partner so I have a couple of those so I'll probably pull some pages out there and I have some school glue that I watered down so I'm going to use that to adhere them but to um, glaze to glaze it on top because it's going to be a collage background I'm actually going to use some DIY um, Mod Podge that I made but what's special about this Mod Podge is that it's glossy so it's like you're getting glossy it's um, like you're getting glossy results, um, like when you get glossy Mod Podge, but it's made with school glue and there's a special ingredient in there. So I'll do a video on that in a few. But I, yes, but it's very exciting, but it gives a glossy finish and um, it uses just regular old school glue and water and then there's something special in there too to make it all glossy and beautiful. So I'm excited to show you that. And I'm just gonna kinda get started. Um, for these ATCs, I'm gonna collage, cut. Um, I might do some stamping, but probably not. I'm gonna kinda keep it simple. And then I'm going to um, add quotes on top of them, um, just cause I think that it's good to get an inspirational saying. I really love quotes and things that encourage people. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to show you the process. I'm going to go through everything. You'll be able to see all the steps. If you have any questions, as always, please ask me and I'll let you know. And I may come back to show you the cards with me talking or I may just put pictures. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to start with the process. I'm going to put you in silent and I will see you in a bit.
guys, this is Shami. So really quick, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but I just wanted to show you, I got all the paper collaged, um, but I wanted to show you, and this is for our ATC or letter, um, or pocket letter um, tutorial that I'm showing you. Just another way um, to make um, pocket letters or ATCs that's super quick. Like you're gonna make a background, you're gonna cut it down and you'll get these little cards. Um, and then you can add embellishments on top. So that's kind of the point of the video. I just wanted to emphasize that. But um, I just wanted to see, and hopefully you can see the difference, but I told you that I found a way to make kind of a DIY, like glossy um, Mod Podge. So I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, so this one, okay. So this one right here is just sealed with glue. So it's kind of flat. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not really shiny. But this one I sealed with my um, DIY kind of glossy formula um, for Mod Podge. And as you, you can kind of see the sparkle as I turn it a little bit, but it's really glossy um, and it's just really beautiful. So I'm going to definitely have a video on how I did that, but I just wanted to kind of show you the difference. And I'll probably put um, this as an example um, in that video too. But So I just wanted to stop and show you that. Um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to actually make the all over background for these sheets. And then um, I'm going to make just kind of the little embellishments and decorations that I'm going to do. And then um, I'll cut them down and I'll put a link to the video of how you can get 10 cards from one sheet of cardstock. I don't know if you guys know how to do that, but I'd love to share it with you if you don't know how to do that. And then um, we'll finish them up and I will show you the end results. Okay, so that was just a quick kind of, um, I don't know, what do you call that when you just pop in really quick and talk? I don't know, but <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna now I'm going to continue to work on the backgrounds um, for these PTC cards, and I will see you in a little bit. me from crafts names and things so today this is going to be a quick video i'm going to show you how to cut 18 seeds from one sheet of paper so this is just a standard size sheet of cardstock i just wanted to show you this technique because maybe you know it maybe you don't but um this is a great way if you're making atcs for a large amount of people or if you just like to include them in happy mail it's a great way to give someone a piece of artwork, um, you know, that you think that they would like. It's a great way to share your artwork in an ATC. And you can also do these with letter pockets too, which is super awesome. So you can just make an all over background, which I'm making a video. I'm showing you the complete process of how I made this background. And then um, you can just cut the cards and then add individual embellishments to each individual card and then just put it in the pocket letter and you've saved yourself tons of time. So let's get started. So here I just have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I'm um, just a standard sheet copy copier um, sheet of paper. Um, yeah, eight and a half by 11 and um, and we're just going to cut it down. So we're going to cut it down lengthwise. That's what we're working with is lengthwise. Okay. So what you're going to do, let me make sure that you guys are in frame. So I have kind of two things going on at once here is we're going to do three and a half. So first we're going to cut this down to three and a half inches. Okay. So our first cut will be at three and a half inches. Okay. So I'm just going to line this up. And as I said, you could do this with any background. Okay, and I'm just making sure that that's three and that is. OK, 
okay. But I saw this on Pinterest and I said, well, how awesome is that? Okay, and if you don't have a paper cutter, don't worry. You can, um, sorry, let me bring my thing back here. Um, you could absolutely um, just use um, scissors and that would work fine too, okay? Just mark the lines and then you can cut everything. So this is um, three and a half. I'm just gonna move my score over. And I'm just making sure that it is measured and you're actually gonna be able to get 10 cards from this. Ideally, sometimes I can only get nine, but I'll show you the technique. So the first cut you're going to make is at three and a half. And again, we're, all, we're working lengthwise right now. Okay, so just going to take it and you're going to give it a cut. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to do two and a half. Okay, so we have there's two and a half. Okay, so just line it up. We're at two and a half, and we're going to give that one a cut also. Okay, and then this should be exactly two and a half, which it totally is. So three and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Okay, now we're going to work with our other side here. And the dimensions of an ATC card are two and a half by three and a half inches. Okay, so then next. We are going to cut four and a half pieces from the from our strip of paper. Okay, so we're gonna go this way on the paper. Alrighty. Okay. So we're doing two and a half. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna turn it the other way now. Okay. And I am going to do two and a half. Alrighty, so let's do, that's two, so one, two, sorry, my two and a half is not marked on here. Okay, there we go. So we're going to take that and we'll give that a cut. Oops, and hold your paper. Don't be like me, I'm not a good paper holder. Okay, two and a half. I do not edit, so you'll be able to see this. And you have a perfectly sized ATC card. So we're going to keep going. We're going to do another two and a half. Okay. And we're going to do another two and a half. And just make sure it's lined up straight. Okay. And then we have one more two and a half. Okay. Just make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay. And then this is just a piece of waste. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you have four from that three inch piece. Now, for these, we're gonna do, because they're two and a half across, so we have that measurement. Now we're gonna do length rise. So these need to be three and a half long, okay? Three and a half inches long. Okay, so we're gonna mark here. And I will give you a link um, to the blog too because she really like has good pictures, I think, in case you're confused by this. So we're just gonna line up three and a half. And these are my two and a half um, strips, okay? So there's one card. And then I'm gonna do my three and a half. But this is just awesome. And as you do it, you'll get better and better at it. So see, we have three cards with minimal waste. This is another piece of waste, okay? And then same thing. So we're gonna do three and a half. This is my, another two and a half sheet. Okay, and you get 10 ATC cards from this. And then you can decorate these individually. So it's definitely enough um, for pocket letters and this is a really quick way to make them, okay? Take that, righty, and then again, three and a half. Alrighty, and we have 10 cards, and they are perfectly sized. Look at that, they're all the same size. Do you see that? Perfect, okay, and then one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
to me. So I just wanted to show you the completed pocket letters. So this is how they look. They turned out really cool, except that I wasn't able to use the little envelopes that I showed you how to make. They were just, just a tiny bit too wide. So um, even though I measured them according to that, I should have made them a little bit shorter than the um, envelope. But let me turn them around for you so you can see. So I have the handmade tickets, which there's a video on how to make those. Then I did the decoupage um, buttons. Then I got metal um, little trinkets from um, Tuesday mornings. They were like 59 cents. Sorry. Let me bring you in a little bit more here. Okay. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. And there were like little trinkets there. So that's like a metal sticker. And then this is washi tape. And then those are um, like, uh, it's like a, it's for like your cupcakes and you put it around and it has decoration on it, but I like to use them for stencils. So I included one of those. And then I have a little coat and I had to cut off just a little bit of that so it'll fit in the pocket. And that's how the front looks. So I love the way that these turned out. Um, I did use my DIY um, paint mark pins. Um, as you'll see in the video that I did on that. Um, these are just fine applicator bottles that you can use to kind of trace around. It works much better than a paint pen, I think. And then, um, so all of these have little quotes on them. Just beautiful. So I just love, and the theme was purple and pink. That's what I chose to do, at least for mine. But they turned out lovely. So that's the first one. Let me bring it up just a little bit here. Okay. And then this is the second one, and this is the third one. And they all came from that same background that I showed you. So I just wanted to show you just a quick and easy way to make like a huge, a huge amount of um, pocket letters um, without spending that much time. It didn't take me that long to do the, the background. And then I just cut out hearts and decorated them and painted them up. And you know that was a little time consuming, but I think not as much as treating every little individual card, you know, with everything. And I just love the way that they look. And um, yeah, I just picked out quotes that I love, like the power you are searching for is already within you. Just encouraging um, quotes that I absolutely love. And I just love to look at them. So all I'm going to do is just wrap these up like this. And I might put a doily around them, and I put mine in just a standardized envelope, just like that. That's the way I do mine. It works perfectly. And yeah, and they'll be ready to go. Maybe I'll put make a little band to go around. Um, yeah, I might make a band, which those are super simple to make. I just have a piece of scratch paper here. Let me just show you really quick. This is actually just a piece of newspaper, so all I'll do is just, but I kind of want them front facing, so maybe I'll go like this. And then I'll just make a little band, just like that. And then I can just glue that down. Yeah, and then it'll just slip right into the envelope perfectly. And I will decorate the envelope just with sprays. I'll just spray it. So yeah, I would just glue that down, just like that, but I still need to put a note in, so I won't do that on camera. Um, and I did leave one of the pockets open, and that's where I'm going to put my note. But you just stick it in there, just like that, and you seal it up. Just put a seal here, and then it's ready to go. It's absolutely ready to go, and you can mail it to your partner soon. So um, hopefully you liked um, this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you for watching the process. This video will probably be a while. I'm going to try to make it under an hour, but um, I really want you to be able to see a lot of the details. But the main thing is just how to make, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't make pocket letters, you can make ATCs this way. And I will have more tutorials on more background ideas. I mean, there's just so much that you can do. Um, just to make these beautiful and to make them your own. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.